It is August of 1940 and we are working on our Allure Motor Company and we are looking at the sizes of the vehicles and putting them in the correct categories as far as full size, mid size, compact, compact coupe and extended versions of our particular vehicles. Allure pretty much touches majority of the categories and that's going to fall more in line once we further implement the trim levels because the Allure has the L trim level for luxury and then they have an S and an SL. S for sports and SL for sports luxury which will start materializing later on. We're concentrating on updating our models from the old style to the more newer style. We have a more intricate grill and body designs that we're converting our vehicles over to. And that further separates the Allure brand from the Emerson and we aren't necessarily for sure what we're going to do with Granville because majority of our vehicles have been on the same body style configuration. They've just been a little bit different in sizes. So we're looking to develop certain styles for certain vehicles to further separate them. We've worked very hard to separate them by engines, transmissions, riding, driving dynamics. Style is the other category that's quite important for the models to not have people walk into a dealership and see on one side an Allure vehicle that looks exactly similar to the Emerson vehicle. And there is a huge difference in price. We just updated our trim levels for the Granville. That went over rather smooth. We made some minor adjustments as far as how we're rolling those out. We're making sure that we're not complicating this process too much because this is an interesting time period because we're doing the trim levels and there's a possible um, body style change. We just got finished completing the, the updated version of the bay. We got finished updating the cove. Just recently did the cascade, just completed the essence. And we've added an ultra luxury essence to the car classification. We just got finished updating the Essence Coupe. The next on our agenda, Landolette. Currently, we held about 29.5% of that market. The model is selling very well. We're selling 36 of the L model, and we're selling 26 of the Ultra model. And we don't necessarily talk that much about that vehicle. The customer base for those vehicles come right in. They know exactly what they want. They customize their vehicle and they're gone. It's really not much. And there is a small market for that. We were looking through the magazine, looking to see if we had a class challenge and seeing where we land at in the class challenge. but. This month is for Canada. With what's going on around the world, there aren't any sales going on in those, those areas. So this is our time to figure out what we're going to do with that area. We're not necessarily for sure that when we start back selling vehicles in Canada, whether or not if we're going to just transport vehicles up there or if we're going to have a dedicated Canadian factory. Now, as far as our stock report for August 1940, 
Porch AG lost 0.052%. Dodge lost 6.3% with a closing of $3.59. Chrysler lost 1.5% with a close of $19.22. Jeep lost 4.3% with a close of $3.83. Nash Calvinator lost 1.15 for a close of $6.68. Ram lost 4.115% for a close of $3.79. Century gained 0.643% for a close of $27.49. 901 lost 3.147 for a close of $27.64. Detroit BR Motors lost 12.714% for a close of $2.32. Emerson Eco lost 4.170% for a close of $50.34. And General Motors lost 18.296% for a close of $1.39. We gained 2.857% for a close of $16.97.